Hey YouTube. So, um, one of the things that I am known for is my extreme accessories. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll pick up something my friends be like, oh, that's so ugly. But I love big, crazy accessories. And so, uh, today I'm going to show you guys some of my biggest accessories, like the big gaudy ones. Um, and just show you how you can pair extreme accessories and make it look good on an everyday basis. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to show you about five pieces and um, you know, just kind of give you some ideas of what you can wear um, and what, what you can pull off pretty much. Uh, so here we go. Okay. So the first one, this was a necklace that I got from Express uh, clothing store and it is just like this humongous, uh, <laughs> it's a humongous like link chain and it's really awesome i love it you see how big that is habibi go get down get down i got a little habibi out the way but um okay so as you guys can see the links are like faceted do you see how they're kind of cut but it's really super shiny and cute if you can like if you can see there's kind of two ways to wear it um it you can wear it just as is so it just looks chunky like that it kind of like organizes all the pieces like that and so it ends up look, looking like that so it's kind of two ways to wear it which is awesome so this is some ideas of how you can pair um some outfits with this major accessory at the clearance at Charm and Charlie's. Um, I love Charm and Charlie's just because it gives me great ideas for my store. This is also an extreme necklace, I feel, because it's just so big and, you know, it's kind of like you really do have to kind of plan what you're going to wear with that. Otherwise, it just look like nonsense. <laughs> so, uh, but as you can see, it's like it's three tiers. Um, then it has these gold jewels in the front. And then one on the very bottom and then it has some earrings to match. This is kind of antique so it kind of gets that whole bohemian type feel and uh, I would probably wear this most likely with either neutral colors or either bright tropical colors that would be awesome. So here's some ideas of how you can wear it. another necklace that I picked up I picked this up a while ago it was um it was at uh, Charlotte Roos and so like uh, when I seen this ne necklace I kind of fell in love with it let me try to get it organized <laughs> it's like crazy chains like chains crosses and like uh, a lot of coins you see the coins <laughs> if you're not careful this necklace could look like something mr. T would wear <laughs> So you kind of want to be uh, mindful of that when you start planning on what you're going to wear with this. Um, typically with something like this, I would try to wear a high collar uh, just so everything doesn't look like it's all draped around my neck and, and, and whatnot. Um, and so like with that high collar, it just kind of brings the illusion up versus uh, just kind of like um, just all this gunk <laughs> wrapped around your neck. <laughs> There's one of two things that this reminds me of. Um, the necklace from uh, Sin City that Alexis uh, Bleedle wore, or uh, <laughs> Junior's brother from uh, uh, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Let me show you a clip. Anyway, this is another extreme necklace that I love to wear. this not too long ago and I haven't really wore it yet but I love this gem on there it's humongous it's almost the size of my palm but I love that gem and so like you can wear this with a lot of different things and kind of just like spice up your um spice up your your wardrobe with that one um is this one is a cool one to wear with like um you can wear this with uh, scarves or, you know, you can wear it kind of by itself over a uh, high collar something like a, a high collar dress or a, a, a mop net or something like that. Or, you know, you can kind of just like wear it with something that's really open like the, the dress that I'm wearing right now and just kind of like let it sit in your bosom. 
<laughs> but I love this necklace, so I'll show you guys some ways to wear this one. And I was thinking like, you know, um, I love to layer necklaces. And so, uh, but you kind of gotta, once again, plan, 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 <laughs> because you don't want to look like it was a mistake. So um, what, I, what I thought was, this is kind of like, uh, it almost looks like rock candy or like ice cubes or something, but I love this necklace. And so pair it together, I think this looks really cute together really looks awesome and so like I'm gonna experiment with wearing these two together to get kind of show you give you an idea of how you could take something that's already extreme and make it even more extreme and you know that pretty much sets off your whole outfit I want to uh, switch up from necklaces a little bit and I'm gonna show you some earrings some extreme earrings okay so uh, when I think of extreme I always think of big and I saw these and I just thought, oh, these are amazing, even, even though they're so simple. And that is these humongous wood earrings. Um, some people might not have the nerve to pull these off, but I definitely would wear these. Um, and you see how big they are? They're just, whew, I love them. Yeah, these are some super, super extreme earrings. They're really lightweight, but uh, they're not for the mild and meek. Here are some um, some other extreme accessories like I found on the internet that I would really love to try out. And you know, if you guys have any extreme accessories that uh, you got, you have at home, please do a video response and show it off. We would love to see what you like, what you think is extreme, and how you would wear it. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it, and I will be back with more accessory time and uh, more accessory extremes and just more accessories. Uh, don't forget to check out the site. Lookima.com. See you later. Thanks for watching.